If you're running a lot of different dynamic creatives within your account, there is a way to analyze that deeper within Motion. First thing you're going to want to do is click Create Report up in the top left-hand corner. We're going to build a top performing report for this one. Next, you're going to add a filter for Add Setup, Add Distribution Format is Dynamic Creative, so add that little checkbox there. This is essentially going to filter out any ads that are not dynamic creatives and just pull in dynamic creative ads. So this view first and forefront like this is going to show you all your different dynamic creatives and how they're performing on that higher level view. So sometimes nice to just quickly look at this view to see which dynamic creatives are getting the most spend, which dynamic creatives are actually returning back the most for us. So again, just a higher level view of your dynamic creatives. But since dynamic creatives have individual assets attributed to one specific ad, for example, we're going to want to take a look at that one ad and see how those different assets are performing in comparison to one another. So what I would do next is do group by creative. Group by creative essentially pulls out all those different assets and shows you performance on the asset level. So that's why group by creative can be really important when you're looking at dynamic creatives. Next thing you're going to want to do is swap over to card view. I like looking at it this way because it shows the creative first and forefront. You can click onto any one of these thumbnails as well to preview the content. So if you wanted to watch the video or check the static, that's how you would do it. Now, this is essentially all the different assets running a part, as a part of any dynamic creative we have running within the account in the last 14 days. That's the time window I have here. But you might want to get even deeper into the analysis, like I mentioned, and take a look at one specific ad name and see all the assets as part of just that one ad instead of just all your dynamic creatives as a whole. So feel free to throw another filter on here for ad name contains. And I'm going to do this as an example. You're going to want to paste in the exact Full entire ad name. So go ahead and copy the exact ad name and put that here. I'm just using this smaller version in my example so our demo account pulls in more results. But as you can see, you'll be putting the ad name contains and now we're only going to see the individual assets that are part of that one specific ad. So again, just a quick way of seeing which assets performing best for us out of that dynamic creative. So feel free to do this for each individual dynamic creative and just swap the ad name contains to something different. Now, you're most likely running a few different copies as well as part of your dynamic creative. So the next thing you're going to want to do is swap to group by copy. And this, like I mentioned, is going to just pull out the individual copy that's running as part of the dynamic creative to see which one's performing best. Um, I always recommend throwing on the see more rate. See more rate is a metric that shows you if people click to read more of your copy. So again, a really good indication if you have long copy, which one was performing best because people click to read more of that copy. So see more rate, always recommend throwing that on with any type of copy analysis report. Aside from that, you should be all set. This will give you a really quick and easy way to see how your dynamic creatives are performing in comparison to one another or on the individual ad level to dive a little bit deeper on that side of things.